Greetings, greetings, peace, love and light to you all family. Welcome to another YouTube video with me, your host, Mathix. Thank you, first of all, let me start by saying that. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you. The channel is growing. That means that the information is spreading. People are remembering. The universe is tapping into our genetic memory and reminding us of how cosmic we are, how cosmic we've been, or how cosmic we we forever shall be how cosmic we are becoming so on today's episode we're going to be talking about soul ties we're going to be talking about soul ties this is a subject that you need to be familiar with because it's very important on your journey to understand this this thing that we call soul ties and what happens when you when your soul is tied to someone else so the first and most important thing that you must know is that we basically all under a soul type because to some degree, each and every single soul that is incarnate on the planet, you are familiar with from a realm beyond the physical. So all of us, our souls are tied, number one. Remember, uh, I like to use the example of one mirror that becomes shattered. So we are one mirror that becomes shattered and fragmented and then those little pieces of that mirror get to experience themselves through our different dimensions through our different planets and systems and whatnot so now your soul ties go to many systems beyond the planet you have soul ties with beings in other planets you have soul ties with entities in other dimensions you have soul ties to ancestors you have soul ties to future entities you know but today we're just going to be looking at the basics of soul ties so now what a soul tie is soul ties develop through experience so you have many different experiences with people for an example you have a soul tie to your mom and to your dad and to your siblings and to your friends a soul tie is formed in times of great emotional energy exchange between a person so when there is a lot of energetic exchange between a person a soul tie is created meaning that the the spirit or the person in which you are interacting with they they there is formed what is called the familiar spirit so whenever you've heard of familiar spirits familiar the word family actually comes from familiar it's entities or spirits that you are familiar with so your family is your family because those are the highest you know beings that you are familiar with on a on a soul level but then there are those beings now that in the physical realm let's say when you were a kid or when you were in high school you had let's say you had a crush on someone uh, it doesn't even have to be that the other person uh corresponds or reflects that energy to you you could have had a very strong uh, a very strong emotional tie to a certain person that you know you couldn't like stop thinking about them what happens is that you begin to form a thought form remember thoughts are alive thoughts become things thoughts are entities so depression anxiety stress all these things they are thoughts that you've dwelt on so long that they've become living things addiction that's what they call spirits demons you form these thoughts in your your mind because you are also a thought form so now when you've had let's say a crush on someone that you, you're always thinking about them you created this thought form where now a part of you becomes attached to that person and you associate certain things to that person so let's just say that maybe uh, you had a crush on that person in a particular song let's say was released when you were in high school whenever you hear that song it reminds you of that person it means that there was a bond or oh, when you used to think about that person you used to you know oh my you used to form images in your mind and imagine you and them holding hands so you formed a connection between you and that person a bridge so this can become even deeper now when we involve things like physical contact when we involve things like fluid exchange in terms of kissing and especially also in terms of sex remember they can be formed outside of physical contact it doesn't always have to be physical contact you just thought forms alone you you create uh, soul ties with people so the reason number one let's start off there the reason why there like you are eternal and you will always be eternal and the reason why you will have an existence outside of the physical is that you create certain soul ties here that are going to create the next relationship. So certain things that you, certain types of relationship that you have with people here right now on earth, those relationships are going to continue in another life based on what was created here. So there's soul ties. So there's good soul ties and bad soul ties. Now, 
when it comes to the soul ties that are bad those are the soul ties that drain your energy so when you can no longer function to your highest potential as an individual when your few when your relationships are are not going the right way it means that you have certain soul ties to past relationship or to people that you've been involved with on a physical on an emotional level that now there there is a there is an umbilical cord that you have created that attaches you to that person so you could have let's say have had sex with an individual and in fact let's not even say that you could have when you have sex with an individual that is the biggest soul tie that you could create because now you are connecting with that person on all levels remember that sex is an energy exchange when you are having sex with someone you are exchanging chemicals you're exchanging fluids bodily fluids and within your bodily fluids are contained memories so sex is a is a memory exchange so that's why you can take on diseases you can take on bad habits you could take on um bad luck you could take things of people and in fact you do take them every time you have sex with someone you take on their energy field you guys are exchanging memory it's the same way that if 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 you take a usb and you plug it into a laptop and the laptop says you'll be careful of viruses either from the laptop or from the the usb itself so within that each person you could take something from someone or you could give something to someone so this is why in ancient africa you saw things like people wearing black especially after a funeral so let's just say someone's spouse had died that person would wear black clothing so that people in society would know okay this person is a widow is a widow or a widower and then you would avoid sexual contact with that person because they knew that the blood would be polluted or the blood would be dirty remember when you have sex you change you, you exchange chemicals and the spirit is carried within the blood so when you would have sex with someone whose spouse had just passed away certain veils would be open between the physical and the spiritual and that person would be connected to that person who had just passed away so there's there's been cases i remember my mom told me once of a case of of someone who had just slept of a man who slept with or it was a woman who slept with a man whose wife had passed away and she's like no these things they don't exist and not even like a long time in a few weeks you got sick something started being wrong with her womb and then she died or also having sex with someone with with a pregnant woman is also a problem also so this is how you create these soul ties it's past relationships either during strong emotional exchanges attachments that you create with people or through the most potent one being the sexual exchange of of energy so when you have sex with someone that's where you exchange the most memories and the most information between you and the person so that's why casual sex is very dangerous it's very very dangerous not just for stds or hiv aids or you know all these physical things but for spiritual things as well because you pass on you can take people's curses you can take you can you take on people's things in you in your auric field and you carry those and your whole your aura becomes more and more dense it becomes dense and dense and dense and how you recognize that you have a soul tie with the person is they would come to your mind randomly at certain times or 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 whenever you think of them your energy gets drained in some way it means that the some way somehow there was a soul tie that has been created that needs to be broken and there's certain ways that you can there's certain techniques that you can use in order to break soul ties i won't speak about those here right now whenever i give methods and things like that that's going to be on one-on-ones that um, I'm, I'm currently working on creating these classes but i'll just give you one here or maybe two one of them is visualization you could visualize you the breaking of these certain uh the, these ties that you've created visualization is a very strong one and then also you could have a, a, a cleanse a cleansing a spiritual bath a spiritual cleansing that's another way that you break these physical soul ties because they happen on a physical level and they also happen on an energetic level so you are tied to people so that's why also there's a verse it says that one who sleeps with a prostitute in the bible becomes one with her 
You know, you become one with her. And not only do you become one with her or him, you become one with the people that that person has engaged with sexually. So it's deep because you could have sex with one person and they just come from having sex with, with another person who had sex with seven other people. So that's why, especially in this day and age, sex is very dangerous. Casual sex is very dangerous because you'll be exchanging energies that you don't even know that you have. All of a sudden, you don't move the same. You don't feel the same. You feel heavy. You feel dense. It's because you have created now soul ties, which you need to break through visualization. So when you feel, when you feel yourself being feeling very heavy and dense it's because like there's been soul ties that have been created between you and these people and these soul ties attach themselves to what is known as your chakras so you could have soul ties that attach on the root chakra on the on the on the um, on the sacral chakra on your solar plexus these 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 ties happen on these energetic vortexes or vet vortex so uh in a in a way that now it would be multiple ties so you have to be careful in life in terms of who you interact with and and what it is that you do so sometimes you could still be thinking about your ex while you are with your, your current person you could be having sexual intercourse with, with with your partner now but you're thinking about your ex soul tie soul ties and it doesn't necessarily just have to be your ex it doesn't necessarily just have to be your ex but it's people especially when it comes to bad soul ties people who now when you think about them or when they come in your energy field your energy feels drained and or, or it gets drained so that is soul ties in a nutshell family so um i hope that this video has helped you out and that you could you know like you could begin to understand who and what you are so until the next time peace